Hey everyone, it's Jack Fuki again. I'm back with another 1500 scale airliner review, and today we're going to be looking at the Herpa South Pacific Airlines of New Zealand, aka SPANS um, C47A DL. This is Herpa catalog number 500227, and this, this is a 2003 limited production. Comes in the 1950s colors with SPANS logo has a scaled gear and is an exclusive for airline hobby shop. Registration is ZK-CAW and that's pretty much it. Pretty cool. Don't normally get too many Douglas aircraft added to my collection since they're no longer really in business. Boeing owns them. But um, there's the back right there. Limited production interesting deal about how I came across or how I got this plane. Uh, planes are fun on eBay. I bought two planes from them and they sent me this one as an extra little little gift I guess. Um, I mean they they haven't responded to my emails. I told them thank you but uh, you know I don't know if they just did it to be nice or they screwed up or what but I told them that I got one, so maybe they just wanted me to review it. But um, regardless, yeah, I mean, if anybody from that shop is watching, thanks, because that's uh, pretty unusual, especially to get a, a limited edition plane. I've never seen this one anywhere on eBay. So for those of you who keep asking me every time, you know, how much something is, uh, I just told you I got this for free, so I have no idea. I didn't even go look it up. But anyway, um, nice plane. Um, I've got a few C-47s in my in my collection. Pretty pretty nice. Let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit. Like how the propellers are chrome. I think this airline eventually became V V Australia or something like that, right? I got the computer here. Let me look it up. Yeah, it. Um, yeah, it looks like it eventually became or it expanded into being V Australia. And before anybody goes, hey, you don't know anything about it or whatever, it's like, yeah, let's let's hold on a minute. Um, they don't really fly here to Houston, so um, it's not really an airline that I'm super familiar with. I've seen it, but yeah, I'm not real familiar with it. You know, you always have some ass who, who gets on on there on YouTube and always says, you don't know anything. It's like, well, um, you don't know anything. If you live in Zimbabwe, you probably don't know about Southwest Airlines, so cut the crap. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's still some of that hostility from me, you know, left over from the whole Jet Pro debacle. Moron. But there it is. And uh, that's it. Um, go ahead and uh, leave your comments and everything down below. Uh, any questions you have, leave them down below. Um, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a pretty unusual little plane. Um, if you need to go find one, then good luck. I gave you the Herpa catalog number, so you shouldn't have a problem with finding it. That's the whole point of me giving you the catalog number. That was actually, um, I'm rubbing that in because I had three messages the other day asking, you know, if, you know, where to find stuff. And I said, just type in the, type in Herpa, type in the catalog number I give you up in your web browser and I'm sure it'll come up. But um, anyway, just trying to be helpful. Uh, but there, there you go with the uh, Spans Douglas DC-3 or C-47. And, uh, which, you know what, let's back up here. Why do they call it the C-47? I'm sitting here reading it and reading it. And when I look here on the Wings 900 
deal. It says C-47. It's like the C-47 is the military version and the DC-3 is the civilian version. So I don't know why they did that. Let's see here. Yeah, even on the box it says DC-3. And then I've been I'm narrating and I'm, you know, I'm doing the voiceover here and I'm like, wait a second. Well, I'm not going to go back and shoot the video again. So, whatever. It's a DC-3, not a C-47. And no, I didn't just read that on the computer. I mean, I knew something was up and whatever. <laughs> but anyway, uh, there you go. And um, see you guys later. Okay? Later.